Hello, good evening, Rafael. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. So what about your day? Yeah. How was it? Good. So, so interesting, mm. relaxing. Another day. <laughs> <laughs> Another day. Okay. So yeah, what? Very boring. Boring? Yeah. Okay. All right. And hey, how about you? Well, it was really exhausting. But I mean, um, I you know, I really like what I do. So, yeah, I feel good. I don't feel tired. Well, sometimes yes, but most of the time, yeah, I, I don't feel tired. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. A productive right. day. Yes. A productive nice. day. That is correct. So, you know, um, well, the traffic jam is always uh, terrible, right? Okay. Yes, Teacher, I, I, I waiting uh, someone who uh, would, would be a uh, uh, fix me something in the house. Okay. <clears throat> yes. <coughs> Perdón. Don't worry. Don't worry. <coughs> Va a venir so alguien a arreglar algo en la casa y posiblemente apague la cámara un momento. Okay. All right. Don't worry, Rafael. It's okay. So, um, yes, don't worry, okay? okay. Um, well, Andrea is connecting right now. You just let me know, okay, uh, through chat or through message right here. Just let me know that you are not going to um, have the camera open or that if you are going to uh, step away a re uh, for a while, right? Just let me know. So I know and I don't ask you, right? So, okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, Andrea, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How do you feel today? How about your day? How was it? Um, so, so. Um, so traffic terrible. Traffic terrible in the morning in the um, Boulevard del Ejército. Yes. And at night, the same thing, right? In the afternoon, the same thing. Yes. It is terrible. Yes. Terrible, terrible. But there are many cars, that's the issue, that there are many yes. cars, right? So I don't know which like option do we have to try to resolve the situation. I think that there is no solution, right? Probably the only solution is that people do not take their cars, right, with them, but it is not a solution. I mean... Yeah, but it's complicated because the... Transport service is about. It's really bad. Yes. Really bad. Yes. Okay. And the the one solution in the actually in the boulevard is the open before. Uh, and how do you say career? Lane. 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 Uh, the four lanes. Yes, I saw that new. Yes, I saw that new. Yes, they open uh, one of the lanes. I don't know the Citrams lane. They open it. Imagine. Yes, they took a real the Citrams, the, the Citrams and the uh, other uh, lane. <laughs> Ay, de la de lane. Yes. But okay. the left. For that, uh, the government needs to demolish uh, houses. <laughs> yeah, so that is something that, well, it won't happen, right? It won't happen. Yeah. You know, the thing is that our streets are not designed to have many cars because we are not the US, right? We are not Europe, right? That they have a lot of lanes. They have around five lanes, right? And But our streets are not like that. That's the problem, yeah. right? The other option is a set floor of lanes, but it's a, a huge uh, uh, project. Project, yes. Project. Mm, mm -hmm. And that will take many years, right? But imagine, right now we have many cars, right? But what about youth? What about teenagers? that at some point they are going to get their cars as well. 
we are going to have even more cars. So I don't know. <laughs> Terrible. Well, you can <laughs> yes. Perhaps you you can use your car and and they a specific days of the week. Correct. I think that that will be something that they are going to establish. Yeah. Right? Some play, some places have these rules. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be a solution. So if you have a car, you are going to uh, be able to use it just twice a week, probably, or three times a week mm -hmm. because of the traffic. But okay, guys. So, well, at the end, the good thing is that we are at home. We are safe, right? So that's what really matters at the end. Okay. So we are going to start with today's class. And well, today, guys, we are going to start with today's agenda. Uh, we have the warm up, then we're going to move to grammar. Okay, so as a grammar part, we are going to use uh, right now the adjectives ending in ED and ING. That is going to be the topic that we are going to use in this class. And we are going to study, of course. Some of you already have um, knowledge about adjectives ending in ED and ING but probably some of you do not know about the topic. So we're going to study this topic today. It's really easy, it's not difficult, okay? But we need to uh, be concentrated, right? So we also have a speaking time. Today we have listening, we have grammar quiz, we also have a reading quiz, okay? We have uh, uh, games and we also have the wrap up, right? So uh, the first thing that we are going to start covering today is vocabulary okay so today you are going to learn new adjectives okay and um those adjectives are i would say um really really not common all right but you can use uh you can use those adjectives in i would say different situations you will see okay so we have opposites right here and it says all right building vocabulary so we have Look at the list of adjectives from the text and match them to their opposites on the right. So as you can see, we have from one to seven on the left and we have from A to G on the right, right? So on the left, we have from one to seven and on the right from A to G. Okay, so what we need to do is that we need to match. We need to match the opposite, okay? The opposite, which is the opposite for out going what do you think uh is the opposite for outgoing guys what is the opposite mm -hmm. the opposite of outgoing first of all what is outgoing who knows what is outgoing who has an idea No? Okay, so outgoing, uh, and pay attention because you are going to use those in a minute, okay? So outgoing means um, extroverted. That means a person that loves to have friends, a person that loves to go out, right? So extroverted or extrovert. So outgoing is the same as saying extrovertido. Okay. okay, in this case, the opposite is reserved. Correct. So the opposite is going to be reserved. Perfect. Okay. So let me ask you, are you outgoing or are you reserved? Uh -huh. Well, I think that Rafael could be that you are outgoing, right? Because, uh, yeah, you're friendly. Okay. Sorry, teacher. <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> I'm reserved. <laughs> You're reserved? Yeah. All right. So, but I think that you are able to speak to others, right? I mean, you adapt. So probably you but are 50 and 50. Because I, I push push me uh, to, to talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. But that is a skill, right? Very good. All right, guys. Once again, outgoing is... Um, a person that loves to talk to others, that loves to go out, a friendly person. 
And reserved is the opposite, okay? If you are shy, if you don't like to speak, right? So that is reserved, okay? Now, which is the opposite? The opposite of passionate. The opposite of passionate. Maybe it could be different. Yes, so the opposite is going to be indifferent, all right? Yeah, if you're passionate about something, so that means that you love that thing, right? But if not, you are indifferent, yeah? That is the opposite, passionate, indifferent. What about self-confident? What is the opposite of self-confident? Uh-huh. Self-confident is the person that actually has self-confidence, right? That person that you can see, that person is speaks, uh, that person is not shy, right? So self-confident, right? What is the positive time? Time, time. Timid. Yes. A timid, okay? So that is the opposite. Very good. So self-confident and we have, um, where is it? Yes, it is timid, all right? So self-confident, that means seguro de sí mismo. Self-confident means seguro de sí mismo, okay? What is the opposite of witty? Witty. Uh, what is the opposite? Do you know what is witty? Witty is a person that is really a smart. Mm -hmm. A person that is really a smart. And witty is also um, uh, like ingenioso. A person that is really um, creative. Una persona bien creativa. Una persona bien ingeniosa. ¿Ah? It could be, it be the letter A. 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 Dull. Okay, yes, that is correct. So the opposite, okay? Opposite, opposite. It is dull. And what is dull? Dull is? Aburrido. Aburrido, boring. Boring. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right, so we also have self-conscious. What is the opposite for self-conscious? I guess it's impulsive. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Rafael, I couldn't hear you. Uh, I guess it's impulsive. Impulsive, okay, self-conscious. Mm. Mm, no, it's not that hostile. one. Hostile. Uh, hostile. Hostile, no. Indifferent. Indifferent, no. No, the opposite is for indifferent is passionate. Um, Self-conscious, self-conscious guys is a person, a, a shy person, una persona prohibida. Oh. So letter F, secure. Secure. Correct. Self-conscious es una persona cohibida. Okay. The translator, the translator eh, is consciente de sí mismo. Eh, could be, pero como estamos haciendo los opposites, es cohibido. Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So reflective, what is a reflective person and which is the opposite? Impulsive. Impulsive. Impulsive? Correct. So a reflective person is a person that thinks, right? Before speaking, before doing, before acting. So reflective means reflexivo. Okay, and the opposite is impulsive. And which is the opposite of friendly? Hostile. Hostile. Yes. Hostile. 
Okay, hostile. Yes, this one. Very good. Mm -hmm. So now let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you. Can you please tell me at least three adjectives from the ones that we have over right now that you have in your personality? Mm -hmm. Just three, okay? Three adjectives. Um, I am... I am passionate. Okay. Uh, a little bit uh, witty. Okay. And very friendly. Very friendly. Perfect. Very good. Okay. What about? Let me see. Let me see. Um. Uh, what about you, Edwin? So for me, um, sometimes I'm outgoing. Outgoing. And then I am self confident too. Okay. And sometimes with something, I am indifferent. Indifferent. Okay. Perfect. Okay. What about you, Hosman? Um, and different moment. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, so, uh -huh. Indifferent. Indifferent. Um, I'm okay. friendly. Friendly. Okay. Friendly and outgoing too. Outgoing. Outgoing. Yeah. Okay. So outgoing, friendly, and indifferent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me see, Anna. What about you? I am friendly. Mm -hmm. um, maybe impulsive. Impulsive. Okay. Um, reflective. And reflective. Okay. Reflective. Both. And both. Okay. Both. There is a balance. It depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay, it depends on the situation, okay? What about you, Wilbur? Uh, uh, reserved. Reserved. Um, reserved. Uh -huh. uh, friendly and passionate. Friendly and passionate. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see. Um, what about you, Eulise? Uh, I consider um, out outgoing. Outgoing, okay. And friendly. Friendly, okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, outgoing, <laughs> friendly, and and that's it. That's it. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Additives for you to describe your personality. Okay. Now let's move. Let's move. And let's start with compound adjectives. Okay. For describing character. This was your personality. But now let's describe character. Okay. So it says, we often use compound adjectives. What are compound adjectives? Are adjectives made up of two or more words, yeah? For describing personality. Now, we are going to study one by one. Do you know what is the meaning of absent-minded? What is it? What is absent-minded? Give me synonyms. Absent minded. Uh -huh. Absent minded. Any idea? 
is someone can be concentrated? Okay. Mm, okay. Yes, could be. But a person that is absent-minded is a person that is forgetful. And what is forgetful? Olvidadizo. If you are absent-minded, that means that you are forgetful. That you don't remember things. Okay? Absent-minded. Wilbur? You? Okay. All right, my God. Okay. So now what about self-centered? Self-centered. What is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a definition. What what do you think about self-centered? What is it for you? Maybe when a person uh, like likes? Uh, over uh, likes over sobresalir mm -hmm. eh, o como sentirse al centro de, de atención, no sé cómo decir. Okay. Yes. That is correct, okay? So a self-centered person is this type of person that is egocentric, all right? That loves to be um, the center of attention, right? That is correct. And that is uh, something positive or negative? What do you think? It's negative. It's negative, right? Okay, now let's move egocentric, okay? Synonym, egocentric, synonym for absent-minded, forgetful, okay? Now let's move to big-headed. What is big-headed? If you are big-headed, what am I telling you? What is big-headed? Um, could be, all right, big Headed is this type of person that is arrogant, that you don't really feel comfortable with that person because that person is arrogant. Mm -hmm. So a synonym is arrogant, okay? Arrogant. Then we also have thick-skinned. If you are a thick-skinned person, can you please describe any definition that you may understand about this? What is thick-skinned? What is it? Insensitive. 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 That is correct. A thick-skinned person is that type of person that is insensitive. Yeah? So uh, somebody can tell you, okay, all right, Rafael. So somebody can tell you something, but you don't really, uh, I would say, take important importance about that. You don't really feel anything, right? So you are thick-skinned, insensitive, yeah? What is the meaning of hot-tempered? Maybe an angry person? Yes. A hot-tempered person is that type of person that gets mad, that gets angry so easily. Just a, just a curious. Yes. Now, in uh, in Spanish, the the hot-tempered person is la que le decimos de mecha corta, right? That is really angry. That gets angry so easily. Que se enoja pero con cualquier cosita que uno le dice. Okay. That is a hot-tempered person, okay? Now, what about two-faced? What is the meaning of two-faced? Two-person. Yes, a two-faced person is that type of person that is not sincere, yes, correct. Is not sincere, right? Correct. Now, what is the meaning of level-headed? What is that? Engreído. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> no, it's not that. Mm -mm. 
level Simi similarity teacher no it's not similar <laughs> what, <laughs> okay. what teacher level headed this one level headed what is it level headed mm -hmm. no so a level which one? Una persona uh, person. Reasonable. Yes, a level-headed person is that person that is sensible, that is reasonable, okay, que es equilibrada. Yeah, level-headed. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of warm-hearted? Mm -hmm. Warm hearted. What is it? Mm -hmm. A warm hearted person is this type of person that is sympathetic and kind, polite. That type of person that we have at work that is always saying, Hi, good morning. And that is always smiling, right? And that is really kind, that is really polite, right? That always help you, yeah? So warm-hearted, yeah? Una persona muy amable, okay? And the last one, what is the meaning of narrow-minded? What is it? What is narrow-minded? person, an intolerant person? Yes, a narrow-minded is an intolerant person. That you don't have patience, right? Intolerant, narrow-minded. Okay, perfect. From those, let me it's see. like kind. mente yeah? cerrada? Yes, correct. It could be mente cerrada, una persona intolerante. Okay, una persona que eh, es intolerante a todo, ¿ok? De mente cerrada, que solo eh, se enfoca en lo que that person thinks, right? En lo que ella piensa y nadie la mueve de ahí, ¿ok? So, now, from those uh, two, four, six, eight, for, from those nine adjectives, can you tell me two adjectives that you have in your character? Mm -hmm. Two. Two adjectives from those. Can be different words or? Um, well, using those, okay? Using those. Mm -hmm. In my case, maybe hot tempered. Hot tempered? And warm hurt. Warm hearted. Well, hard. Perfect. Okay. I think I am very absent-minded. Come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. And warm hearted. Hearted. Yeah, hearted. Hearted. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So that means forgetful and kind. Okay, Susana. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Um, what about you, uh, Wilbur? Uh, the first, um, the first uh, absent minded. Yes, that's right. Always forget. All... Everything. Everything. Okay. Yes. Um, the others, uh, I don't know because. Uh, all those are part of our uh, life. Yeah. But I'm more familiar with the hot tempered. Hot tempered as well? Same as, as uh, Anna. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, let me see, Glenda, what about you? Um... I guess that I'm, I am uh, 
warm heart and mm -hmm. hot temperate. As well, hot temperate. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. So let me ask the last uh, person. Salvador, what about you? A combination of varia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, of many. Okay, but give me two. What is the meaning of absent minded? Absent minded is forgetful. That means olvidadizo. Así soy yo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, absent minded. Okay. I can okay. see that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what else? Okay, what else? Another one. What is the meaning war, war, had it? Had it is kind, okay, amable, bondadoso. Ah, uh, eso soy yo. Okay, so absent minded and warm hearted. Yes, yes. Okay, all right. Very good. Okay, guys. So now, Let's go to the exercises, okay? So we have number one. What we need to do is that we need to choose from those nine uh, adjectives, okay? We need to choose which goes in each space, okay? So let's see. It's not easy to offend Jack. He is rather, what do you think? He is rather? Hot temper. Hot temper. Mm, are you sure? It says it's not easy to offend Jack. Ah, uh, to offend. Warm yeah. header. No. Level head. Level head. No. Hot temperate. No. No. Okay. Let's. Absent minded. No. Okay. Let's review. Let's review the synonyms. Okay, the synonyms, guys. <laughs> Okay, the synonyms. So, uh, okay, let me close this one. Okay, so absent-minded means forgetful, olvidadizo. Self-centered means egocentric, egocentrico. Yeah. What is the meaning of big-headed? Inteligente. No. Big headed, Ingrid. 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 Arrogant. arrogant, okay? Take notes, guys, take notes. Big-headed means arrogant. Okay. Thick-skinned. Uh, no. Thick-skinned means? Insensible. In insensible. Insensitive. Yeah, insensitive. Thick-skinned. Es como cuando hay un dicho en in, in Spanish, cuando una persona le dice no, no le cala lo que le dicen. O sea, la persona no le duele nada lo que le dicen. Es insensible. Usted le puede decir y decir y decir y la persona como que no es con ella. ¿okay? Esa persona es un thick skin. ¿okay? Quiere decir que aguanta bastante. Oh, okay. This is the answer for one. Correct. And that is the answer for number one. Okay. Yes. Are you thick skinned? I have a question. Yeah. In this case, is in this case, if uh, the people is uh, uh, no le importan los problemas de los demás, por así decirlo. Mm, mm. It's not applicable in this creo, case. Creo que se enfoca más a que no se ofende por nada. Correct. Sí. En ese caso, la persona que es thick skinned es aquella persona que no se ofende por nada del mundo. Cuando no le importan los problemas de los demás, es una persona tal vez de eso que podemos eh, tener acá, esos nueve, podemos decir que cabe en el uh, self-centered, right? Que solo se enfoca en el mismo, que no ve a nadie más, que es una persona okay. egocéntrica. Okay. Yes, but the thick skin is the answer for number one. Okay, it's not easy to offend Jack, right? No es fácil ofender a Jack. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando decimos he's rather, 
Okay. He is rather thick skin. Estamos diciendo que él es bastante, bastante uh, insensible. Okay. Very good. Number two. Jill is completely a space. To face. Correct. Yes, that is correct. Two faced, right? Two, yes. Two faced. Oh, let me see. And yeah, two faced, right? Face is like a hypocrite. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, is a person that that, as it says, right? Um, that sometimes is talking with you and that person is really friendly with you, but then that person says ne uh, nasty things about you behind your back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, number three, Patrick's boss is terribly. Even the smallest mistakes make him angry. Hot temperate. Hot temper, correct, okay. Um, there is a rule, guys, okay. Hay una regla que cada vez que nosotros utilicemos un compound adjective, hay que ponerle un guión, okay. Okay. Yeah, es una regla, sí, porque son adjetivos compuestos. Entonces, hay que ponerle un guión porque son compuestos, okay. Son eh, compuestos de dos adjetivos, sí. Porque okay. el ed en todas. Uh, because uh, we have adjectives that end in ed and ing. And that's the topic for today, right? So okay. the ed, uh, you will see. Okay, ya va a ver los que son con, con ed, okay, and ing también. Pero sí, todos son adjetivos. Okay. So now, uh, number four. Joy has become really. What do you think? Big head. Correct. Big headed. Head yeah, big headed. Really arrogant. Okay. Really arrogant. Okay. Yes. Big head. Big headed. Okay. Very good. What about number five? Diane is a very space lady. She is always ready to help the poor and needy. Warm hearted. Warm hearted. Warm -hearted. Warm -hearted. Okay, yes, that is correct. So what is the meaning of needy? Simpática, amable. Oh no, needy? This one. Needy. Necesitados. Los necesitados, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And number six, John is the most space. Mm -hmm. Absent minded. Correct. Absent, yeah, absent mind. <laughs> All right, so absent minded. Yes, okay, absent minded. Okay, he never remembers where he puts things and always forgets about his meetings and appointments. <laughs> okay, that is a negative uh, characteristic, right? It's a negative. <laughs> now, number seven, Amy is so centric. <laughs> Self-centering. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Amy is so self-centered. All she cares about is herself and her career. Nothing else. Peter remained very calm during the difficult economic crisis. He is very... Mm -hmm. Narrow minded. Mm, no. Level headed. Level, yes. headed. level headed. Remember that level headed is that person that is really calm, okay? Que es calmado, okay? Una persona que bien, que, que, um, que usted le dice de algún inconveniente y esa persona, tranquilo, lo vamos a resolver, okay? Una persona calmada, yeah? So, and number nine, 
Eva is extremely narrow minded. Narrow minded. Okay. Narrow minded. She never accepts different points of view or lifestyles. Una persona de mente cerrada. Okay. Very good, guys. Excellent. Okay. Take notes. Okay. Take notes about this. All right. So let's see. Do you have any question or can we move on? Okay. No questions? Okay. Let's move. All right, guys. Let me clear all of this and let's move. Okay. Now, yes, we are going to start studying adjectives ending in ed and ing. Oh, teacher, is almost the same as the verbs that we have ed and ing. Yes, but those are adjectives. Okay. Adjectives. Adjectives. Yeah. So we have uh, the first, which is adjectives that end in ed. Uh, Susana, can you please help us reading the information that we have? Yeah. In the adjectives. If the adjectives are used to describe how we feel, look at the following examples. We're tired. Can we stop running? Mm -hmm. I'm bored. Let's play cards. I was surprised to see her. Excellent. Thank you. So, guys, we have adjectives that end in ED. Yeah? Those adjectives end in ED. So, the ED adjectives are the ones that help us to describe how we feel. Son los que nos ayudan a describir cómo nos sentimos. Yeah? Los que terminan en ED. And we have some examples. We have tired, bored. No es bored, it's bored. Surprised. Okay? Bored. Surprised. Yeah? But we also have the adjectives that end in ing. Glenda, can you please help us reading this information? Yes. IG adjective. IG adjective are used to talk about the things that produce these feelings. Check the example below. Running is very tiring. We don't want to run. This field is very boring. Let's play card. Her visit was very surprising. We weren't ex expecting her. Expecting her. Thank you. Okay, so the adjectives that end in ing help us to describe the things that produce the feeling. Es lo que nos ayuda a describir lo que nos produce el sentimiento. So, si se fija, take a look at this. We have tiring, boring, and surprising. The same three that we have. Tired, bored, surprised. Tiring, boring, surprising. Okay? So, one, help us to describe Okay, number one, help us to describe how we feel, como nos sentimos, yeah? In the ING, they talk about the things that produce these feelings. You will see. Para que comprendamos mejor, ya vamos a ver los ejemplos, okay? Donde utilizamos ambos para que vea cómo cambia, okay? So let's move and now let's compare, okay? Let's compare the difference. And fíjese, uh, fíjese bien en esto, okay? Para que ya no cometamos esos errores que algunas veces cometemos. Fíjese bien, dice, my girlfriend is bored. ¿Qué estoy diciendo si decimos my girlfriend is bored? Estamos diciendo my girlfriend feels bored. Dice, mi novia se siente aburrida. ¿Ya? Yeah? My girlfriend is boring. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Qué estamos diciendo? Estamos dándole una cualidad a la persona. My girlfriend is a boring person. So, si yo le digo a usted, um, are you boring? 
le estoy diciendo y le estoy preguntando, ¿usted es aburrido? Como persona, right? Pero si yo le quiero preguntar, ¿está usted aburrido? Are you bored? Cuando usted dice, teacher, I am boring. Me está diciendo que usted es una persona aburrida. Pero quizá usted me quiere decir que está aburrido. Y lo mismo pasa con el adjetivo tired. Uh -huh. Lo mismo. A veces yo le digo, uh, how was your day? Was it uh, good, so, so, tiring? Y le digo con el ING. Yes, it was tired, me dice usted. Pero no, porque usted está calificando el día. El día estuvo cansado. ¿Ok? Cuando usted dice, I am tired, es que usted está cansado. ¿Ok? Pero cuando usted está calificando algo que ha sido bien cansado, tiene que decir tiring. El día ha estado cansadísimo. Eso. Okay. Tiring. Now we have number two. I am confused. <laughs> yeah. So that means that I don't understand something. Significa que yo no comprendo algo. Okay. I am confused. Teacher, I am confused. No entiendo. Okay. Pero si usted dice, I am confusing, está diciendo que usted es una persona confusa, es una persona que no puede darse a entender, que usted causa que los demás se confundan. Okay. And we have also other examples. I was shocked, okay, by how shocking the accident was last night. Mm -hmm. So, yo, I was shocked. Yo estaba sorprendido. Shocked, right? Usted estaba sorprendido. ¿Por qué estaba sorprendido? Okay. By how shocking. ¿Por qué tan sorprendente el accidente de anoche? Right? Por el sorprendente accidente de anoche. Ok. So, utilizamos los dos. Y eso es bien común en in English. Utilizar adjetivos que terminan en ED y ING. Uh -huh. So, they were frightened by the frightening roller coaster ride. What is the meaning of frightened? La rueda de caballitos. Yes, but in this case, the meaning of the adjective frightened? Entretenido. No. Mm -hmm. Frightened is asustado, aterrado. Refrigerante o. Sí, frightened es asustado, aterrado. Mm -hmm. And frightening, frightening es aterrador, algo que da miedo. Ok, so frightened es asustado, aterrado. Frightening con el ING es aterrador, algo que le da miedo. Es una característica de un objeto, de una persona. Y frightened es lo que usted siente. Recuerde, los que terminan en ED son las emociones que usted siente. Asustado, eh, cansado, okay, sorprendido. Okay. Now we also have, I am annoyed by how annoying that person in front of us is. What is the meaning of annoyed? Molesto. Molesto. Very good. And annoying. Annoyed es molesto. And annoying. Molestado. Ok. Molestante, molesto. Podemos interpretarlo de la misma manera. 
¿ok? Pero a uh, annoy con ed es como usted se siente. Yo estoy molesto, me siento molesto, me siento molesto. De cómo las personas que estaban frente a nosotros nos molestaban. No, por cómo las personas que está, eh, que está enfrente de nosotros es de irritante. Mm. Recordemos que el ing de los adjetivos nos ayuda a describir la característica de una persona. Si yo le digo a usted, you are annoying. Por supuesto que es malo, ¿verdad? Porque le estoy diciendo, usted es irritante. Le estoy diciendo que usted causa que los demás se molesten. Uh -huh. So, annoying es irritante. Annoyed es irritado, molesto. ¿Cómo se se siente? ¿Ok? Sally was confused by the confusing street signs in the city. So, Sally estaba confundida por las señales confusas okay, en la ciudad. Yes? So, we have adjectives in ED and ING. Yes? Adjetivos en ED y ING. ING. ED and ING. Okay? This is very important. Very, very important. Okay. So now when I ask you, how was your day? Ah, teacher, it was tiring. ING, it was boring. It was exhausting. Okay. Porque está calificando al día. No está diciendo una emoción. Una emoción es los adjetivos con ED. Una, una cualidad de algo es con el ING. So, teacher, I need to learn the, the adjectives in ED and ING. Yes. Se lo tiene que aprender. Okay. What about with the adjective ang angry? No, that one it, it remains the same. No podemos decir angry. And, no. Uh, okay. okay. No. No. There is a list. Hay una lista. No son muchos. ¿Ok? No son muchos los que podemos hacer en, a, como en ED y ING. Mm, pero sí es una buena cantidad, pero no, es como los verbos, que los verbos sí son un montón. Pero los adjetivos no. ¿Ok? All right. Now, let's practice. Vale, recuerde. ¿Ok? Remember, remember, remember. The ED, feeling. ¿Cómo me siento? ¿Ok? ING. Describo una cualidad de alguien más. Le doy la cualidad a alguien más, a algo más. Yes. So we have, she is, okay, she is a big dog, but you don't need to be. Frightening. Frightened or frightening. ING. Frightening. Or The words is very confused, but I think it's the, the, the A. Frightened. 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 Correct. Frightened. You don't need to be frightened. Frightened. Si te estar asustado. Asustado. Mm -hmm. Estamos hablando de una emoción. De cómo se se siente. Number two. The instructions for my new Coffee machine are really confusing. 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 Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque usted le está dando la calificación, usted está calificando a las coffee instrucciones. Machine. Correct. De la coffee machine. Entonces no puede ser con ED, porque ED describe cómo usted se siente. Recuerde eso. Number three. I love my math teacher. Lessons with her were never boring. 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 ING. Ok, está calificando las clases. Ok, so they were never boring. Ok, number four. That shop never has any customers. So I am surprised. surprised. 
I am surprised. Okay. I am surprised. Estoy sorprendido que todavía esté ahí. Si no tiene nada de clientes. <laughs> yeah. And that is true, right? Sometimes. Oh, dinero. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so number five. Okay, number five. The battery, okay, oh the battery God. on my phone only lasts about two hours. It's really annoying. 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 ING. Correct. Mm -hmm. Está dando una, una uh, you are qualifying the battery of your phone. Okay. okay. Number six. I was disappointed. Disappointed. Okay. Disappointed. Disappointed. ED. Yeah. So, yes. Disappointed. Yeah. Disappointed. Yeah, I was disappointed, letter A, that I didn't get the job. Dice que estaba decepcionado. Disappointed means decepcionado. Entonces, disappointing con ING es decepcionante. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, number seven. I am reading a really interesting. Yes, interesting book. Okay. La pronunciación de esto, usted le puede quitar esta E, remove the letter E, okay, this E, remove it, y solo diga interesting. 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 Like that, okay. Teacher, pero yo algunas veces he escuchado que dicen interesting. Se puede decir interesting cuando usted está enfatizando algo, cuando usted está emocionado, narrando algo, y usted dice, it was interesting, right? Y usted dice toda la, la palabra, pero cuando uno está hablando normalmente, como en este caso, que estamos dando como literales, interesting. Ok? Interesting. Yes, se puede decir interesting cuando usted está eh, enfatizando bastante que algo fue interesante. Mientras no, mientras siempre va a ser interesting. Ok? En number eight, the children were so Excited. 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 Estaban bien emocionados que ellos no pudieron dormir, como cuando estábamos pequeños, que nos iban a llevar al, al, a la playa, right? De excursión. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the children were so excited, they couldn't sleep. Yeah. So you see, adjectives in ED and ING. Do you have any question? No. Not right now? Okay. I'm going to take the attendance. Mm. Yeah, I think that my internet is like kind of slow. But I'm going to take the attendance, guys. Um, give me one second, okay? Because it's loading. Okay, so here we go. Say present when you hear your name, okay? Eh, Ana Lorena Lobato. Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez. Present. Thank you. Blanca Jennifer Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Torres Durán. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present. Thank you. César Homero Amaya. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Present. Thank you. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Fátima Noemi Umaña. Present. Oh, Fátima, ok. Eh, Glenda Toledo. Present. Thank you. José Salvador Bernal. I'm here. Thank you. Houseman Atilio Serrano. Present. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón. Karen Lisset Sanchez. Karen? Karen Lisset. Catherine Indira. 
Catherine, Marlon Oswaldo, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you, Rafael Alexander. Well, I think that he is busy. Raul Ernesto Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rosa del Carmen Enriquez. Rose. Rosa. Susana Milena Cruz. Present. Thank you. Okay. Eh, Walter David Díaz. Walter. Walter David. Wilber Alberto. Present. Thank you. And Jancy Azucena. Well, I think that Jancy is not here. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay. So let's move, guys. Okay. Um, all right. So open the class because we are going to work on teams right now. So as you can see, guys, I have added a list of adjectives. Okay. And you can see, guys. Fíjese bien, okay. Eso es para su aprendizaje, para que usted vaya viendo que el inglés es bien fácil si sabemos cómo estudiarlo. Tenemos verbos. Mire todos los verbos que tenemos. Y estos verbos pueden ser también eh, adjetivos. ¿Y cómo sabemos que son adjetivos? Cuando le agregamos ing. Por eso es que cuando uno dice amazing, ese es un adjetivo formado de un verbo. Ok, it is amazing. Pero también podemos hacer el mismo verbo eh, con ing, pasando el adjetivo, y el adjetivo con ed. Esos dos son adjetivos. Pero la raíz de todo esto, de todos los adjetivos de algunos, son verbos. Ok. It is really easy. But you need to study. Tiene que estudiar. Y aprendérselos, por supuesto. Y no es difícil, pero tiene que utilizarlos. ¿Ok? So, para que vea, mire. Amaze, amuse, annoy, astonish, bore, confuse, depress, uh -huh, devastate, disappoint, embarrass, excite. And you have the adjectives. Yeah? Very good. So now we are going to work on the following, okay? So what we're going to do is this. Which is more exciting, okay? Yeah, which is more exciting for you? A skiing trip in Switzerland or a beach holiday in Jamaica? Which is more exciting for you? Can you give five reasons for your answer? Teamwork. Okay. So which is more exciting for you? I want to know which is more exciting. Okay. For you. And I need you to please give me reasons. At least five. Okay. I'll give you exactly six minutes. All right. Six minutes for you to complete this activity. Then we are going to come back and I'm going to ask you. Uh, before I send you to different breakout rooms, guys, try to participate, okay? Try to participate. If your partner is um, talking to you, answer, respond, responda, okay? Si su compañero entra a la sala y usted también y los dos están con la cámara apagada y el micrófono apagado, entonces, Eh, trabajo es en equipo, no es individual, es en equipo. Tiene que participar ambos, porque ese es el propósito, que usted practique con su compañero en inglés, no en español, ¿ok? Ni que tampoco los dos estén con la cámara apagada, que estén con la cámara encendida. Es por eso que siempre hacemos pues la mención que se tiene que tener la cámara encendida. Okay, so I'm going to move you to different breakout rooms. I'm going to assign um, two per room. Esta vez solamente voy a mandar a dos por salón. Okay, y necesito que todos trabajen. Si alguien no puede trabajar, si alguien no puede estar presente con su compañero, entonces se queda en esta sala. No se vaya al salón, se queda en la sala principal. Okay, yo voy a cambiar a la persona que veo que está solita. Ok, pero no entre si usted no puede participar porque su compañero le va a estar preguntando. Ok, vale. let's go.
Okay. Uh, I would say we see Carlos Arias. Okay, so Rose, are you there? Rose? Fatima? Hello? Okay. Puede compartir. Abrita el compartir. Yes, yes. The question is, which is the more exciting, a skiing trip in Swiss, Switzerland or a beach holiday in Jamaica? Uh, a reason, each one, if you want. For you? Uh, for me, I, will, I never have been in any other land. But um, I think it could it would be exciting in Switzerland trip. Mm -hmm. I don't what? know. Uh, uh, what is the meaning of a scheme? A scheme? A scare. A scare. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I never had a skin and I would and I would try it. Okay. And you? I think that skiing is more, it's more exciting. Mm -hmm. yes. Why reason? One is a reason for some people like uh, playing the snow and they could practice a scheme and enjoy the cold water. Exciting. A uh, beach holiday in Jamaica. Enjoy. Because um, we prefer uh, no new beach and um, maybe there, there are many funny activities. Yes. Okay. This is my reason. All right. Yes, I um, can enjoy. Uh, the the beach maybe uh, we can what uh, is the this work uh, I don't know what 
how can I say pronunciado? Can... Pronounce. Pronunciado. Uh -huh. like sí. Pronunciado. Ah, ok. Um, bronceado, you can say uh, sunbathing. Sunbathing. Uh, I, I will like sun, like the sun, and then bathing. Ah. Uh -huh. And ah. sunbathing with ing. B A T H I N G. I will, I will send it here. Sunbathing. Sun bathing like that. So it yes. doesn't mean you read sun. Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay. So what do you think? Which is more exciting for you? I don't know. <laughs> um, Jamaica both, is beautiful. Both countries. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's difficult. Because... Look, for, look for pictures, Nelson. Eh? A ver. Yes, look um, for pictures. Put on the, on, the, on the browser. I mean, on your browser. Ah. Look for pictures. Okay. At Switzerland. Uh -huh. mm. Playa, primero. Switzerland eh. is beautiful. Yes, but eh. I mean, Juela. it depends. <laughs> like, if you love the beach, no. yes. it's beautiful. Yes. I'm, I'm in trouble because I don't like the cold weather, the weather cold. and uh -huh. I don't like the beach. <laughs> Oh, what do you like? <laughs> I don't know. Do you like the weather that we have in our country right now? Do you have the weather? Do you like the weather that, that we have right now in the country? Oh. Do you like the weather that we have right now in our country? This weather that is kind of warm. Yeah, yeah. You like I it? Like, yeah. Okay. I like the hot weather. <laughs> Oh, got it. No, the but weather right cold. now is crazy. It is because hot. one day, one day is hot, but another day is the ocean. cold. The ocean is scared me. Oh, why? You don't know? Don't know. The the animals, the fish. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> the sirens, right? There are you sirens. you I see the problems. movie of shark. Yeah, I think. Okay, yes, that is correct. Tengo miedo a ahogarme. Ah, okay, guys. Because I don't, I you don't can swim. I can't swim. I can't swim. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh -huh. okay. All right, me neither, okay? Me neither. <laughs> me neither. Yes, me neither, okay? It's a... Uh, mm. Difficult decision. But I think I can I can stay in my in my house or, or in a hotel in Switzerland. Switzerland? Switzerland. Yeah. Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Because the views are beautiful. Yes. That is true. That is true. Okay. <laughs> so which one? Which one decide? are you going to decide? Uh -huh. um, maybe Switzerland because uh, <laughs> uh, I want to know the the ¿Sí? nieve, no sé cómo es. The snow. The, you want yeah, to the, snow. the snow. You want to see the I snow. want to feel the snow in my body. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yes. Okay. But the the play the beach in the on in the jam Jamaica. 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 <laughs> beautiful. Are beautiful. Yes. Wow. The the color of the water water is beautiful. Light blue. Yes. Yeah. 
It's a difficult decision. <laughs> okay. That is really difficult. Fun. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Si no paga el viaje. <laughs> Adiós, dice. Adiós, tengo que ir a otra sala. <laughs> okay, vamos a ver. Okay. Está aquí. Five reasons for your answer. Jamaica. Uh -huh. Why? No, no, este, Switzerland. Okay, why? Number one, because... Uh, because I would like uh, to visit uh, this country. Uh, I would like to uh, know the culture uh, in this country. Uh, the gastronomic is correct. The gastronomy? Uh, gastronomy. Yes. Uh, the the all of places in this country because Europe is a is a interesting country mm -hmm. for all of that. No sé cómo decir nos ofrecen. All of that. Uh, offer, what? offer us. Offer us. Mm -hmm. For example, teacher, if I can say, yo podría tomar, pero como en un futuro, I could take, take him, siempre, no. take. take, okay, take. Okay, I think it's more excited for me. Exciting. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Exciting. No excited. No, because for me, no, it is exciting, but you are qualifying the activity. Okay, exciting for me, Switzerland too. Okay, because I could take many photos mm -hmm. or a lot of photos. Yes, that is true, and also you can wear different outfits, right? Yeah, <laughs> and in yeah. the beach, of course, no, right? Uh huh. Okay. And the same, yes, the bikini, but just bikinis, <laughs> right? No, no, I mean, we want to, to wear different outfits, right? Colorful, uh, yeah, a different color of bikini. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I could exactly. take, I could take a hot, uh, hot shower, okay? Yeah, and I could take, no, I could. Eat a lot of many foods, many different foods. Okay. And I think I could stay in my house watching TV all day <laughs> with a ropadita, con una cobijita. <laughs> with a blanket. <laughs> in a beautiful, in a beautiful uh, view in front of me. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> And a mascara. Okay. What about Andrea? Are you there, Andrea? Um, I excited and the beach in, okay. in Jamaica. Jamaica. Uh, because I like the beach. Oh, okay. Um. Ah, ¿Qué más? Mm -hmm. mm, I like um, the seafood. Okay. Um, I uh, I like because I use a uh, bikini. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, so happy. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. And, uh, and I like it because I take uh, the Zoom. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, guys. 
So I think that you already have your, uh, your sentences, right, and the reasons. So let's go back to the main room, okay? I'm going to close all the rooms. Okay. Let's go back. Yes, let's go back. Okay. So let's see. Uh, all right, Carlos Dominguez, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, so Carlos Dominguez, which is more exciting for you, a skiing trip or a beach holiday in Jamaica? Um, uh, I exciting. Mm -hmm. It is more exciting. It's a more exciting uh, in Jamaica. It's a, uh, okay. The, the, okay. the best beach. Okay. Why? Uh, uh, mm, I do not remember. Uh, uh, I, I, I visit the, 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 the line, the link in the, the travel. The travel. Mm -hmm. uh, Bahia Montenegro. Okay, that is in Jamaica. Yes. Okay. All right. Let me see. It's, it's a it's a beach uh it's a beach uh, more beautiful. Montenegro. Oh. Yes. Let me see. Okay, let, me, let me show you guys. So, Carlos Dominguez likes this one. Jamaica because this beach. Okay. Okay, teacher. Very good. All right. Perfect. The only observation, Carlos, is with the pronunciation. Okay, remember that is Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, Jamaica. thank you, teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. So let me see. Let me ask um, Glenda. What about you? Um, for me, it's more exciting a beach holiday in Jamaica because the beach is more funny and you can entertain me with some activities. And also, uh, in the beat, you can feel relaxed. Okay. All right. Now, pronunciation. Jamaica. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I agree. What about you, Nelson? And then Houseman. Okay. Yes. What about you, Nelson? For me... I choose Switzerland okay. uh, because I would like to know this country and I would like to know the snow uh, all my life. Uh, I wonder how is the, how is the, the, the snow feel in in my body, in my hands, okay. uh, and it's a it's a goal. Okay. It's a goal to meet or to know. To um to visit, right? To visit to to feel visit. Okay. This, this type of country, uh -huh. And I I would like to see. In a mountain and the night. Okay, very good. All right. What about you, Hosman? Okay, in my case, I had a trip to Switzerland. Okay. Because uh, I prefer the mountain. Okay. I am videoing what I watch video and um, um, place the in Switzerland, for example the beautiful forests and um, river, white, green, grays, 
it's, it's very, very relaxed in the place. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, guys, the, uh, sorry, I, I, I will, I will plan it to visit uh, one moment. We will moment plan to visit. Yeah. Okay, Or the beast. Yeah. Okay, repeat after me and say Switzerland. Switzerland. No, sweet. Sweet. Switzerland. Switzerland. No, no, sweet. Sweet. Switzerland. Switzerland. Like that. Switzerland. Oh. Perfect. Switzerland. Okay. Very good. What about you, Blanca? Sorry, teacher. Me sacó de la reunión hasta ahorita voy a entrar. Ah, okay. So, oh, yeah, I saw the, the message. Okay, but don't worry. But right now I'm, I'm going to ask you, Blanca, okay? I think that you can um, give me the, the reason, okay? So, Blanca, which is more exciting for you? A skiing trip in Switzerland or a beach holiday in Jamaica? Mm. Mm, I like the beach because I like feel the wind, the sun, and swim. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Well done. Okay, guys. Very good. Somebody else that wants to share their opinion? Somebody else? No? Yeah. Big. Yes, thank you. All right. Okay. Um, for uh, to me, it's more exciting in a spring trip in a beach holiday in Jamaica. Jamaica as well. Uh, because the environment is amazing, and we can enjoy some some bathing. Some bathing, correct. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right, guys. Now let's move. And what we're going to do is that we are going to take the reading quiz, okay? This reading is kind of different. Why? Because you are going to open the link, but I'm going to show in my screen, okay? On my screen, you are going to see the paragraph. So, usted va a abrir el link del examen, pero el párrafo de lectura va a estar aquí en la pantalla. ¿Ok? Si quiere, primero lee el párrafo, es cortito el párrafo, y después eh, responde las preguntas. Son cinco preguntas nada más. Super easy. ¿Ok? Eh, déjenme, le voy a compartir el link para los que no están en, el, en, el, um, en la hoja de Excel. Para los que están, es el que dice Reading Quiz, y está bajo la fecha de, de ese día. ¿Ok? So, Tuesday. ¿Ok? Reading, que está cabal, ahí estoy yo en, en, en ese cuadrito. Okay, so this is the link. And the passcode is reading. De igual manera, si usted tiene el link de la clase, bueno, no, no está ahí. No, no está ahí el párrafo. No se los agregué. Bye. Ok, entonces, en este momento, abra el link. Ingrese al link. Ok. Y... Este es el párrafo, ¿ok? Este es el párrafo. Eh, vamos a tener un voluntario para que lo lea. ¿Ok? ¿Quién quiere leer? Who wants to read? Who wants to read? I would like to try it. Ok, Wilbert, go. Read everything. Ah, oh, well, ok. So, Wilbert, read from our vacation hasta water. Nelson, desde every morning hasta I can do it. Ok. Go, Wilbert. Every year we go to Florida. We like to go to the beach. My favorite beach is called Emerson Beach. It is very long with soft sand and palm trees. It is very beautiful. I like to meet sand castles mm -hmm. and watch the sailboat go by. Sometimes there are dolphins and what wells in the water mm -hmm. thank you okay every morning we look for shells in the sand i found fighting 
15 big shells last year. I put them in a special place in my room. This year, I want to learn to surf. It is hard to surf, but so much fun. My sister is a good surfer. She said that she can teach me. I hope I can do it. Perfect. Okay, guys. So now, take the exam. Okay, it is easy. Okay, let me know once you are done, okay? Finished the job. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Finished. Okay, thank you. Finished. Thank you, Blanca. Okay, I'm going to give two more minutes, okay? For the ones that are still taking it. And then we're going to move to the listening. Okay, thank you, Wilbur.
Okay. Now let's move, guys. Okay. Let's move. And let's go to the listening. Okay. To the listening. Uh, the listening. Let me copy the link and I will send it. There you go. And the passcode is listening. Okay. Capital letters. Listening. Capital letters. Open it and I'm going to play the recording twice, okay? Two times. If you need an extra time, let me know, okay? But right now we are going to um, say twice, okay? Very good. All of you, okay? Most of you got 100. Perfect. Okay. So now, uh, listening. Okay, let me share my screen and let me share the sound. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Ready. Ready. Okay, here we go. Hey, look at what I bought at the store. Isn't this car cool? Makes all kind of sounds. Wait, you bought five toys yesterday and you bought three more the day before that. I can't believe you bought another toy today. Yeah, about that. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. You bought more than one. Just, just two. But I mean, if I buy him a car, I gotta buy him a truck. So where's the truck? Yeah, um, about that. There, there's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh -huh. I, I can't get it in the door. What do you mean? Is it outside? Uh, wait, wait, let me see. Yeah. Let me see that truck. That's not a toy truck. That's a real truck. Wh well, what's going on? It's my new toy truck that our grandson and I can enjoy together. What? It was on sale. We can, we can drive up in the mountains, sleep under the stars, fish, go hiking. You know, bonding time. Y you don't look so happy. Really? Really? You'll be paying for that truck forever. Okay, here we go with the second time, okay? Hey, look at what I bought at the store. Isn't this car cool? Makes all kind of sounds. Wait, you bought five toys yesterday, and you bought three more the day before that. I can't believe you bought another toy today. Yeah, about that. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. You bought more than one. Just, just two. But I mean, if I buy him a car, I gotta buy him a truck. So where's the truck? Yeah, um, about that. There, there's gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh -huh. I, I can't get it in the door. What do you mean? Is it outside? Uh, wait, wait, let me see. Yeah. Let me see that truck. That's not a toy truck. That's a real truck. Wh well, what's going on? It's my new toy truck that our grandson and I can enjoy together. What? It was on sale. We can, we can drive up in the mountains, sleep under the stars, fish, go hiking. You know, bonding time. Y you don't look so happy. Really? Really? You'll be paying for that truck forever. Okay, ready? Or do you need me to play it once again, guys? Once again. Once again. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Hey, look at what I bought at the store. Isn't this car cool? Makes all kind of sounds. Wait, you bought five toys yesterday, and you bought three more the day before that. I can't believe you bought another toy today. Yeah, about that. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. You bought more than one. Just, just two. But I mean, if I buy him a car, I gotta buy him a truck. So where's the truck? Yeah, um, about that. There, there's gonna be a bit of a problem. Uh -huh. I, I can't get it in the door. What do you mean? Is it outside? Uh, wait, wait, let me see. Yeah. Let me see that truck. That's not a toy truck. That's a real truck. Wh well, what's going on? It's my new toy truck that our grandson and I can enjoy together. What? It was on sale. 
we can, we can drive up in the mountains, sleep under the stars, fish, go hiking, you know, bonding time. You don't look so happy. Really? Really? You'll be paying for that truck forever. Okay, what about now? Ready? Or no jet? Yes? Okay. Let's see. Send your answers, okay? Submit your, your, your responses. Let me see. Okay, I go Ana, Andrea, Blanca, Carlos Arias, Carlos Eduardo, Eulice, Glenda, Raul, eh, Jose Salvador, Wilbur. Okay, perfect. Edwin. Okay, Hoseman. Okay, Nelson. Okay. Okay, very good. So I can see that some of you, okay, I can see that you got 100, okay? Very good, excellent, okay? And I can see that some got 80s, right? And so on. All right, guys. Now let's move to the next um, activity, okay? So the next activity is going to be grammar, okay? The grammar quiz. This is the link. Okay, and this is the passcode grammar. Guys, this grammar quiz, it is uh, actually the main purpose, okay? The main focus, el propósito principal de este um, examen de gramática es verificar si usted se acuerda del presente simple y de las preguntas con WH. Entonces, usted tiene que escribir. All right. Abra el examen y, y va a ver las indicaciones y de igual manera las eh, preguntas, ¿verdad? So, okay, take it. I'll give you from five to eight minutes, okay? Sea cuidadoso con los signos de puntuación y toda la estructura, okay? Teacher. Yes. O sea que nosotros lo vamos a hacer preguntas. Correcto. Usted va a ver como, eh, como la opción, ¿verdad? Como la eh, como las palabras. las palabras, correcto. Usted va a ver las palabras y usted la va a hacer pregunta. Pregunta, ok. Correcto. Add question mark eh, para el final. Eh, yes, please.
Okay, guys, let me see if some of you already finished. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Mm. Um, one, yes, Edwin, tell me. In one question, and uh, give me an incorrect answer, mm -hmm. but it's correct. Only don't have. The, the question, question mark. mark. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, I saw that one. I saw that one. Okay, so let me see. Um, I can see Edwin. Yes, Edwin, I can see that you got 100, okay? Yes, you got 100. Uh, let me see, Raul, if you, how often does she go? Raul as well, 100. Um, mm -hmm. T-shirt. Mm -hmm. let me see yours. Oh, incorrect. Yes. And me, teacher. Um, Glenda, you, how often does she go out? 100. As well, Linda, 100. Yeah, yeah. I, add, I add the point of the love. Okay. okay. Let me see. Ah, yes. You, the, yeah, the period. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I can see that some of you, uh, one, let me see one other. Teacher. Yes. In me and the question one. Uh -huh, let me see. I, I saw yours, but let me let me check. Hmm. Why do you think it's incorrect, Nelson? The capital. Because the capital letter. Right. All right. The you know, just I, just I is with capital letter. Then you know, he know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Let me see. What do you have for breakfast? Mm -hmm. That's a mistake. But on the other ones, you also made a mistake. Right. If you notice with the subject, you are capital letter. Okay. Teacher, yes. Um, in the second sentence, uh, when I was uh, crumble the sentences, the I uh, how to say it, um, I didn't find this uh, census. When about the um, on Fridays, just say, just uh, it is like uh, say in Spanish, uh, cuando viene a casa los viernes, mm -hmm. como que él solo se estuviera respondiendo, lo, lo, lo interpreto yo así. Okay, yes, and that is correct. In this case, um, I mean, uh, you were creating just the questions, right? Eh, so, tendríamos que haber agregado toda la idea que estaba ahí. Okay. But, sí, es que, yes. okay. sí, porque así, yo así lo, 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 lo interpreté personalmente. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Sí, le comprendo la idea. Yes. Okay. Um, uh -huh. okay. Bye, guys. Eh, I can see that some of you um, what do you have for breakfast? Yes, algunos de ustedes when las tuvieron eh, todas malas, 
pero estoy verificando por qué. Vale. Algunos por el signo de interrogación. ¿Ok? Uh, si no se lo agregaron. Recordemos que en la pregunta siempre va un signo de interrogación. Y en, eh, puedo observar también que otros pues omitieron ciertas eh, partes de la, de la idea. Entonces por eso pues lo toma malo. Ahora. Eh, quiero ver qué más. Eh, también estamos omitiendo los verbos auxiliares. Recordemos que en las preguntas del presente simple el auxiliar es das o, o do, ¿verdad? Dependiendo del sujeto. Teacher. Yes. Me recuerdo qué punto al final y me las puso mal. Sí, vaya, eso es otra. Eh, muy bien, muy buena eh, observación. En este caso, recordemos que cuando es una pregunta, el único signo que va es el de interrogación. Ya no tenemos que poner el punto. El punto y final va únicamente en las oraciones, ya sea positiva o pregunta, o, perdón, positiva y negativa. Eh, el signo de interrogación va únicamente en las preguntas, ¿ok? En las preguntas. Pero ya no se tiene que poner un punto y final porque es una pregunta. Entonces, por eso ponemos el signo de interrogación. Por eso se la tomó malas. Eh, en este okay. caso, alguna de ellas. Teacher. Yes. For my reason, so for me, I forgot the auxiliary. Yes. Auxiliary. Yes, auxiliary. But, auxiliary. But I thought uh, mm -hmm. I have to, I had to write the sentences. Oh. Como estaba ahí. No. En ese caso, era que tenía que formar preguntas en el presente simple con las palabras que se le habían dado. Yes, I, I forgot. That's yes. Today. Ok, guys. Eh, vaya. Pero muy bien, así ustedes pues van percatándose de las cosas que probablemente se nos están olvidando, pero con eso pues ustedes deben de seguir como practicando, ok. Vaya. Perfect. So before we go, ok. Before we go. Let me ask you a couple of questions, all right? So guys, let me ask you, are you satisfied with life? Are you satisfied with your life? Okay, are you satisfied, ED? Look at this, all right? Are you satisfied? Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. No, I am not. Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Right. Mm -hmm. Are you satisfied with your life? Yes, I am. When was the last time you were very surprised? Conté. Surprised. Okay. When was the last time you were very surprised? Eh, Glenda. Never. <laughs> uh -huh. No. Um, my last time yes. when, I were, when I was very surprised is when I received my, my, my título. Um, my degree. My degree. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. Excellent. What about you, a hostman? When was the last time you were very surprised? Glenda, when she got her degree, right? What about you, Hosman? Uh, no surprise. For women, no. No, but in your case, no. Osman. <laughs> okay, in your case, in su caso, okay. In su caso. Okay. When was the last time? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que usted estuvo sorprendido, okay? Que usted. Um, the, after four months. Okay. Uh, four months ago? Four months ago. Okay, really? Four months ago? Uh, for example, uh, in my job. Okay. In, in, the, in the week that sale the Black Friday. 
who's very the the very uh, very custom service. Okay. Um, different moment as uh, the uh, the repente who uh, surprise. <laughs> different okay. problems, different activities, and very uh, exciting. <laughs> excited. It was really excited. excited. Okay. Oh, four months ago. Okay, with the Black Friday. Perfect. All right. Well done. And uh, what about you, Carlos Eduardo Torres? Um, well, my last time, maybe it was two years ago when I got a job because my interview was at the start of the semester. <laughs> and yes, and I was happy. Then I was surprised. Okay. It's very surprising. Okay, it was very surprising. Okay. And let me see, uh, Wilbur, what about you? Well, in my case, it was a long time. When it, it was a match uh, with El Salvador and Mexico. And, and, and El Salvador won. It okay. was, uh -huh, it was uh, so many years ago. Yes. I don't remember. Okay. He, he we stay with my brother and my father eating churros, snake. Snacks? Snacks, sorry. Mm -hmm. Eating snacks and soda. Mm -hmm. uh, we paint the face of my daughter. She was around five years ago. Five years. Okay. Uh, and she she get uh, she got uh, she got scared she got scared because when we won all we all us all us scream go okay uh -huh. so we were really excited right? that we yeah that yes that day was so excited okay perfect all right guys so just because of the time, we are going to stop right here. Okay, thank you very much for joining today. And thank you very much for being responsible. All right, I'll see you back tomorrow. I hope you have a good night. Take care. And the only person that please stay with me, Carlos Dominguez. Okay, then the other ones, go ahead and rest, guys. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Carlos Dominguez, are you there? Hello? Yes. Okay, can you hear me? Me escucho, Carlos, sí. Oh, pero yo no le escucho, fíjese. No. Tal vez eh, desconecte los, los audífonos y los conecta de nuevo, porque quizás la entrada es la que... ¿Cómo estás? Sí, ahora creo que sí. ¿Hable? No. Creo que... Sí, ahora más o menos. ¿Hable? Sí, teacher. Sí. Hoy sí. Ay, sí, le escucho. Vaya, Carlos. Ok, Carlos. Bien. Este pequeño espacio, Carlos, básicamente es para que nosotros podamos tener un pequeño feedback, ¿ok? Eh, primero que nada, es bien importante saber la opinión suya acerca de nuestras clases. Sí, quiero saber cómo usted se siente con las clases, cómo se ha sentido con la dinámica de nuestra clase. Eh, Teacher, pero... perdón, se me fue la luz y, no. y ahorita está cargando. Lo okay. siento. Don't worry, me, des no. me despido. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night, Carlos. Okay, good night, good night. Okay. Fíjese de que se le, se le, um, como que se queda sin audio, Carlos. De repente. Sí, en ese momento no le escucho. No. Creo que tiene falso el, 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 um, la espiga. Heitner falso. Uh -huh. No. 
Tiene falso cuando le desconecta si lo escucho. Desconectala. Okay. Sí, así sí lo escucho, pero si lo, si lo conecta, se le, no sé, creo que tiene falso. Vaya, dejémoslo así. <risas> Vaya. Ok, Carlos. Okay. Bien. Bueno, como le estaba eh, comentando, queremos saber cómo se ha sentido con las clases, con la dinámica de la clase, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué comentarios tiene? Eh, si tiene alguna pregunta con algún eh, tema, ¿verdad? Quiero saber cuánto tiempo lleva estudiando el idioma también. Ok, teacher, fíjese que prácticamente comencé desde el básico, ¿verdad? Eh, prácticamente seis, siete, ocho meses. Okay. Eh, con inglés corporativo eh, y pues la verdad que mm, me gustan mucho las clases eh, y espero aprender verdad espero eh, finalizar el curso completo y, y poder tener el diploma de inglés corporativo okay. y lo único pues lo único que me cuesta es que eh, sé palabra va, eh, pero a veces me cuesta interpretar más que todo, escuchar, ¿verdad? Y, y, y entenderla. A veces la, la pregunta está fácil, pero mmm, como que me cuesta Responde. entender un poco. Ajá, eso, exacto. Ok. Sí, Carlos. Fíjese de que eh, en realidad, como ha observado, las clases son básicamente eh, mitad como de hablar, mitad de resolver. Eh, exámenes, ¿verdad? Para que podamos como sondear el nivel que tenemos. Más que todo es para ustedes, ¿verdad? Todo es diseñado para que ustedes puedan como eh, autoevaluarse y ver cómo estamos en cada área del inglés. En ese caso, pues, eh, como estamos en un nivel intermedio, sí, el, el, eh, tal vez la, la metodología es un poquito más avanzada que como en los demás niveles, si ya se dio cuenta, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Entonces, eh, básicamente la clase la tratamos de dar full inglés para que ustedes se vayan acostumbrando, ¿verdad? Y que cuando lleguemos a niveles avanzados o incluso intermedio, 3, 2, 4, 5, ¿verdad? Ustedes ya no lleven esa eh, deficiencia de que no podemos comprender lo que el maestro está diciendo. Entonces, eh, por el momento, eh, ahora, el día de ahora, traté de explicar inglés y utilicé un poquitito de español para que ustedes me pudieran comprender un poquito el tema. Sin embargo, la mayor parte del tiempo, si ustedes se han fijado, todo es full inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, bueno, primero que nada, lo felicito porque está aquí, ¿verdad? Y su, pues, uh, su propósito y su meta es, pues, aprender, como usted ya me lo dijo, ¿verdad? Eh, lleva bastantes meses ya eh, aprendiendo el idioma y qué bueno que ha sido con nosotros, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, okay. eh, ¿hay algún tema que a usted le resulte un poco complicado? Eh, ¿Ha tenido problemas con la plataforma? Eh, ¿Algo que me quiera comentar en este momento? Mm, no, incluso la plataforma creo que ya la tengo al 97%. Este, solo que me ausenté unos días porque... Eh, bueno, me enfermé y, y estuve afónico, bien así afónico y, y me, estuve, me estuve medicando del tratamiento y no me pude conectar, fueron como tres días, pero me puse al día, ¿verdad? Sí, sí eso le iba a comentar que qué bueno que eh, pues se logró incorporar nuevamente porque sí, no, no había estado conectando, si yo me fijé. Entonces, eh, y qué bueno que está mejor, ¿verdad? Ahora, eh, con la dinámica de la clase, Okay, cuando hacemos los exámenes, cuando los mandamos a los salones, eh, ¿se ha sentido bien? ¿Hay algo que me quiera comentar? No, está bien, la, la dinámica está bien, pues eh, a veces uno tiene miedo quizá de hablarle al compañero, pero vamos entrando en confianza y, y pues sí. los equivocamos, pero quizás nos vamos corrigiendo a la misma vez. ¿verdad? Sí. Y, y pues, pues siento que que sí, ya nos estamos acostumbrando más a escucharla más full inglés, pues, pues a veces con una palabra que entendamos, pues interpretamos casi todo lo, ¿verdad? Lo, que, lo que nos dice. Entonces, está bien lo de full inglés. Okay. Nos está ayudando demasiado. Ok, me parece muy bien. Ok, esa es la actitud. Bueno, de mi parte, eh, el feedback que tengo yo para usted, pues, 
es más que todo positivo, ya que usted ha estado, pues, eh, incluso, ¿verdad? Cuando tal vez eh, eh, yo le he preguntado, ahí está. Aunque tenga la cámara apagada, pero yo sé que ahí está. Entonces, eso sí, es muy lo, importante. Teacher, lo que, lo que pasa es de que, que me conecto con el teléfono, ¿verdad? Sí. En, entonces, este... Eh, a veces estoy anotando en el lapicero y, y, y me muevo, entonces por eso es de que... Mejor la paga. Que, ajá, porque, soy, porque llevo la, la libreta, ¿verdad? De apuntes. Uh -huh. okay. Entonces, este, ajá. entonces aquí, aquí paso escribiendo y, y me cuesta un poco para, para tener la cámara encendida. Sí, sí. Bien, yo comprendo eso, pero en realidad, pues, lo felicito porque está atento, ¿verdad? Está atento cuando se le pregunta e incluso usted participa sin que uno le pregunte, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es muy bueno y básicamente, pues, tiene que eh, participar incluso más, porque solo así nosotros perdemos la pena y el miedo de equivocarnos de cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Ok. Es una manera. Así que... Primero que nada, lo felicito porque ha continuado con los módulos, ¿verdad? Y que no se ha dado por vencido. Eso es muy importante, ¿ok? Recordemos que el proceso de aprendizaje para algunas personas es un poco más lenta y para otras personas es un poco más rápido, ¿ok? Entonces, tratamos de adaptarnos a todo, ¿verdad? Que si a algunos es más fácil la lectura, pues incluimos lectura. Si a algunos es más fácil listening, pues incluimos el listening. Si para algunos es más fácil escribir, también hay prácticas de escritura, etcétera. Tratamos de que todos puedan desarrollar un poquito de cada habilidad, aunque es un mes el que vamos a estar juntos, pero que ese mes pues, sea de provecho para ustedes, más que todo, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, pues, eh, lo sigo pues incentivando, lo motivo a que no se vaya a desmotivar, que continúe con todos los niveles que hay, que usted okay. también. ¿Ok? Ok, muchas gracias, Tichel. Ok. Un gusto. ¿Hay algo más que usted me quiera comentar acerca de las clases o acerca de las tareas? No, pues, eh, pues vamos bien. Okay. Vamos muy bien. bien. Excelente. Okay. Bien. Entonces, Carlos, bueno, uh, vamos a dejar hasta acá el feedback. Ok, si no hay pues okay. nada más que agregar, le agradezco bastante su responsabilidad. Ok, tratemos de conectarnos eh, exactamente a las 8 ¿verdad? para que estemos ahí pendientes y pues nada más felicitarlo, ¿verdad? Siga así, no se desmotive, continúe con el idioma, eh, estudie en su tiempo libre, y pues eh, lo veo el día de mañana, ¿ok? Bueno, ok, gracias, feliz Thanks. noche. Have a good night, ¿ok? Good night. Have a good night. Thank you, all right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.